and welcome. My name is Tash and today we're going to do an interesting lesson on telephone English. Okay. When I say telephone English, I'm sure you want to tell me that Tash, I speak good English. But that's not enough. Okay. Today we're going to deal with some points where we are going to talk about the way we should talk over the phone, the way we should open a call, um, if it's a formal or an informal call, decide how to talk. So let's begin. The first one says, don't be direct. Let's say I want to make a call. I pick up the phone and I say, hi, uh, may I speak with Mr. John Smith? Okay, uh, maybe the person on the other end is going to ask me, excuse me, who are you? She probably is Mrs. Smith and she doesn't like me calling, uh, just asking for her husband directly. So what you need to do is, hello, my name is Tash. Um, could I have a word with Mr. Smith? Or maybe, um, may I have a word with Mr. Smith? Is it possible to speak to Mr. Smith? Even if the person is not available, the person who answers the call is definitely going to help you with some contact details. So don't be direct in uh, wanting to talk to a person. I know you don't mean to be rude, but when you say, hey, I want to talk to so-and-so person, it definitely sounds a little rude. So try and be polite. Okay. So when I say don't be direct, I simply mean you have to be polite. Okay. So be polite. Okay. The next one is practice. Practice. What are you talking about? Practice where and for what? Okay, this is especially for people who maybe, wo uh, maybe work in a customer service department or um, you know, they're constantly calling people up. I want to share an example with you here. Um, in a mortgage bank, okay, in the collections department, there was an executive, a customer service executive. He was trying to call uh, Mr. Calvin White and he picked up the phone and he's like, uh, hello, may I speak with Mr. Calvin White? And the person on the other side said, oh, he's not available right now. He's at the hospital. And the executive was like, oh, I'm so sorry. Um, I hope he's going to be fine. And the person answered, oh, are you mad? He's a doctor at the hospital. Which means what I'm trying to say is, if you are working as a customer, as a customer service executive, do your homework. Obviously, you have the profile in front of you. Read it. Understand who you're talking to. What are you going to talk about? So these things are very, very important to maybe avoid that embarrassment over the phone. Yeah. So when I say practice, it I mean do your homework. Okay. Spellings very, very important. Let's say I my internet is down and I want to make a call um, to the company and I'm like, hey, hi, my account number is, um, so she's like, ma'am, can I have your first name? I'm like, oh, sure, it's Tash. She's like, okay, Dash? No, it's Tash. She's like, yeah, I got it, it's Dash. Okay, lady, it is T-A-S-H. She's like, oh, it's Tash, I'm so sorry. I'm really sorry. You know why this happened? Because when you are talking over the phone, it's very difficult for a person to maybe get you right at the first time. Anything could be the reason, maybe a disturbance, maybe there are people talking around. So you don't really know how or what kind of information is going to the other person. So she's going to tell you, you know, so it's always better to pron uh, when you pronounce your name, always say it with a spelling. For example, T-A-S-H. T as in tiger, so it's very easy for the person to take down proper information. Okay, so spellings so that you give right information. Okay, numbers. When I say numbers, um, it's very easy to take down a telephone number. But what if I have missed a number? I have written a nine instead of an eight. Yes, it does happen most of the times. Uh, I'll give you a best example. I mean, a very simple example is of 30 and 13. Okay. If I say 30, 30, the T at the end gets a little stretched. When I'm saying 13, okay, when I say 30, 
the third my T does not get stretched but then my third is getting stretched however there is a difference between the two when I say 13 my T is getting stretched but on the phone it's not that audible okay there are chances when I you know when I'm saying 13 it's a very different way of saying 13 for me and maybe the person who's listening to me has not understood it especially it's going to be a problem if you are taking down telephone numbers and also when you take down telephone numbers do not say uh, numbers like 98 42 43 42 avoid it simply say 9 a 3 2 whatever is your number okay so that's about numbers don't hesitate to ask there are possibilities that there is a lot of disturbance in your line okay maybe you're taking down very very important information and suddenly you've been called so you put the person on a hold say I can just be on a hold for a minute I'll be back you go and you come back and suddenly you realize that uh, when the person was talking to you you have missed out on some very very important information now um, out of embarrassment you probably do not want to ask him again but don't do that simply say uh, sir um, do you mind repeating the last thing that we were talking about he's gonna tell it to you it's better than making a mistake and paying for it later so you might as well ask do not hesitate to ask it's better than a mistake okay okay keywords Again, I'm talking about keywords here, especially for people who are working, maybe they are answering calls for like five or six hours a day. You are, that's your job, okay? You just pick up a call and you start talking and you are a customer service executive or maybe you are a sales executive, something or the other, which means you are constantly talking on the phone. For you, remembering the keywords is very, very important. Now, what are these keywords? Words like, hello, good morning, my name is Tash, how may I help you? Okay, now when I say that, that's going to be your opening line. And this is going to be something which is mandatory for you. You cannot just pick up the phone and say, yes, how may I help you? No. If you are expected to make calls and answer calls, you're definitely expected to do it in a particular way. Okay. And then when you are in the middle of your conversation, Suppose you are at the end of the conversation, you're coming to the end of the conversation, you simply say, um, okay, is that going to be all? Is there anything else I can assist you with? Okay, the person says no. It's like, okay, thanks for calling and um, take an, have a nice day or take, you can't say take care, he's not your friend. You can simply say, okay, thanks for calling, have a nice day. So these are key words which you cannot, um, you know, afford forgetting or not saying. So. Those were keywords. Okay, just put on the words here like, um, how may I help you? How may I help? Or um, have a nice day. Okay, smile. Smiling is something very, very important. Do you ask me, oh, I am talking on the phone. Why do you want me to put that extra smile there? It's very, very important. I don't want you to frown when you're talking. You know what? When you say, hello, this is Tash. Yeah, sure, of course. No. You don't want the other person to feel that, oh God, why did I even call her? Let's take a simple example, okay? Let's say a wife has prepared a surprise dinner for her husband, okay? And she calls him at around 5.30 and she's like, hey baby, uh, where are you? He's like, um, Listen, I'm in the middle of something. Can I just call you back? Top. The phone goes down. She's like, okay. I don't think I'm going to call that man again. Okay. However, if the, uh, the husband had to tell her that, okay, listen, honey, I'm in the middle of something right now. Uh, can I just call you back? Is that going to be okay with you? Even if he's not going to call her, call her after half an hour, she is going to be absolutely fine with that. Because he's the tone. Maybe he's got a smile on his face. That's the reason why the tone was so nice and she did not get offended. So smile, don't frown. Smile when you talk on the phone. Um, maybe it's gonna make the other person feel a little more better, yeah? So smiling is very important. So that is about 
the telephone English that we have learned today. Don't be direct. When I say don't be direct, be polite. Ask people, could I? May I? Would I? Practice. For people who are constantly on the phone or in the customer service department or a department like this, they need to do their homework well. Okay. Spellings, of course, information goes correct. Same with numbers. Do not hesitate to ask. Yeah. And keywords, like I just explained to you. And the most important is smile. Okay. Keep smiling. And I hope you have enjoyed this lesson. And I am expecting you to put all of these to use so that you have a very nice conversation and you always impress people who talk to you. So bye and take care. I'll see you with another lesson next time. Bye-bye.